How did you learn your symbols for mediumship? for mediumship and continue learning symbols for mediumship is by them occurring as a clairvoyant image or a clairaudient sound within a reading one time that ended up meaning something one time for that client. And sometimes when it happens the first time, I'll see a clairvoyant image or a clairaudient sound and I'll have to like stumble around a little bit to figure out what it means. Sometimes I'll get a no or I'll get it wrong in that first reading and then the client will be like, wait, maybe it couldn't mean this? Cause that, that's like, that would make sense for me. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, yeah, that makes sense. And then like a week later, I'll see that same image again in another reading and bam, a symbol has been born. <laughs> that's exactly how it happens. And then spirit will use it again and again and again and again and again. Not all mediums work with symbols and I don't work solely with symbols, but symbols are used within my readings. They definitely pop up sporadically within readings. And I feel like they make my readings more efficient. And I just think symbols are fun. It's like wash, rinse, repeat, and spirit creates this, what I would call a file cabinet of symbols or a library of symbols. And they just keep adding upon adding upon adding on one another. And lately it's been kind of crazy because I've had spirit use symbols. I've been doing this now professionally for, I just had my five year anniversary of the start of my business. Like, I think it was like a, what is it today? It's April 1st. Yeah. I just had the five year anniversary of the start of my business professionally. And, you know, prior to that, I'd obviously been developing and practicing and doing practice readings and, and whatnot too for a while. And lately I've been having spirit bring up symbols that I haven't seen in years and I cannot remember what they mean. And so they'll come up into readings, these symbols, and I know that they're a symbol, but I haven't seen them in like three years. And then it's, I'm in the reading. I'm like, Oh my God, what does this mean? <laughs> and it's, I feel like, I'm like, I know spirit's doing it to me for a reason. I'm like, Oh my God, what does this mean? I should have this like huge billboard size wall of all my symbols written down or something but yeah and then the other cool thing about symbols is they'll morph them so they're they'll like adapt them to mean something slightly different so i'll have a symbol that i'm working with and i say i've been working with it for a long time i'll have a spirit person where that symbol will have meaning for them but maybe they want to make it just a little bit different because the meaning for them is maybe a little bit altered. So they'll just slightly alter my symbol. And typically you can figure out what this means by either feeling into it with your clairsentience, the symbol, say the symbol is clairvoyance or clairaudience, meaning you see it or you hear it. Then you can feel into it to figure out what the little alteration would mean. Or sometimes spirit will just give you the feeling with it and you don't even need to reach out with your feeling. So that's another cool little tidbit here too. If I remember in editing, I will throw in some of my symbols on the screen here and I'll try to throw in some alterations of symbols on the screen here also. But long and the short of it is it's repetition. Sometimes it's trial and error and getting things wrong and then repetition. I also think that this will continue for the rest of my life. I, if I am still a practicing medium when I'm 80 years old, I will absolutely be an 80 year old medium still adding to my symbol dictionary. There's not a doubt in my mind. That's it for today, guys. Until next time, much love.
Bye.